Taking a closer look at the drinking water crisis mm -hmm. in Flint, Michigan. The problem is lead in the water. A House committee will hold a second hearing to get testimony from Michigan's governor and EPA administrator Gina McCarthy. At the first hearing, the committee found that failures happened at every level of government as the Flint water system became contaminated with dangerously high levels of lead. Well, the crisis in Flint has had people here and around the country concerned about the safety of their drinking water. Experts are drawing attention to the problem of lead service lines and there's still in many neighborhoods carrying water into older homes. Your local water authority may get passing marks on the water it puts out, and as far as we know, that is the case in our area. But experts say problems could arise because of the pipes going into your house or the plumbing in the house. WFMZ's Hillary Lane is in the studio now with more. Hillary? That's right, Wendy and Rob. The State Department of Environmental Protection recently updated its website, and they now have an entire section devoted to lead and drinking water. It's the most popular link on the site. And while local water treatment plants may be doing everything right, you can still be at risk for lead contamination. And lead is toxic at any concentration. Chemical engineer Arup Sengupta is the chair of the Civil and Environmental mm -hmm. Engineering Department at Lehigh University. He says if you live in an older home, you could be drinking contaminated water and not even know it. People should have the right to know whether the water reaching their faucet is coming through any lead joint or lead pipe. <laughs> Sengupta says even if the water is lead free when it leaves the treatment center, the problem can occur when the water goes through the service pipes and enters your house. In many older homes, those pipes or the solder can be made of lead. In fact, the 1938 Pennsylvania Plumbing Code made lead pipes mandatory in the state. Sengupta says that lead from the pipes can leach into the water supply, contaminating the water. There is always a chance, maybe a very, very minor chance. Lead can cause irreversible damage to the brain and other major organs. Infants and young children are most at risk. A recent study from the Pennsylvania Department of Health found there were elevated levels of lead in the blood of children tested in the Lehigh Valley's main cities. Officials say lead paint in the aging housing stock is the culprit. But other experts say lead in water could be a contributing factor. Experts in other areas of the country say even minor changes to the pH in the water, salt treatments on roads in the winter, and construction on city streets have caused corrosion that allows lead to leach into the water supply. The most obvious answer is to replace lead pipes, but that's very expensive. And again, I personally do not think it is possible in all the places. So Sengupta says at the very least, find out if you've lead pipes and get your water tested. If you do, buy a Brita filter and make sure to change the filter regularly. This basically then provides kind of 100% protection. And if you want to know if you have lead service pipes, experts say you can contact a plumber or the local water authority. In some cases, you may be able to figure it out on your own. We have directions on our website, wfmc.com. All right, Hillary.